All right, so I've talked about Windows 7. We've talked about Windows 8. I'm a little tired of Windows. Let's talk about Apple. All right, so this is an Apple OS X operating system. Now, this doesn't change much from uh, Leopard or Tiger all the way up to Yosemite or El Capitan, right? This is a pretty static type of configuration. Now, the capability has changed from that old OS into this new OS, but the, the general screen and layout hasn't changed much. All right, so let's take a look at this configuration, okay? So a little different, a little different from what Windows guys see every day, so we're gonna spend some time here. On the left-hand side, we have a, a menu that contains Ethernet, wireless, Firewire, Bluetooth, uh, uh, the Thunderbolt, if we use a Thunderbolt bridge, any type of connection that can be made in the network at all, okay? Now, the icon for these are listed right here. Any wired connection you can see will be uh, uh, two arrows with the dots in the middle, except for Firewire. Firewire has this really weird connection uh, symbol. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, reminds me a little bit of the radioactive symbol for some reason, uh, or it's inverse. I don't know why. It just does. So um, what we're focusing on, though, is the wireless connection. Now, any active connection in Mac OS X has the green dot. Green light means go. Red light means not connected. And you can see that it's listed here, not connected. But those are the red and green lights. If I ever wanted to remove or add a network, we can see right here is the plus and minus sign. Now in Mac OS X, you have to be careful of this lock here. This lock gives you permission to do things. If the lock is not open, you can see in this case it is open, you need to unlock it before you can make any changes to any of our environment uh, configurations. So if this is locked, you're gonna need to unlock it. When you unlock it, you're gonna be prompted for administrator password. Good enough. All right, so that's the basics. Let's dump it, jump into the actual wireless configuration. So first off, we're gonna select our configuration, what we wanna configure on the left-hand side. So as you can see, this has been, this is grayed. That means it's selected. Once it's selected, the information for this connection is brought into this screen, okay? Now you can see here that the location of this wireless is automatic. It doesn't have to be automatic. You can actually bring down the drop-down menu and change it, but, this connection status is connected. We are connected to this environment. We have the ability to turn it off using this button, but you can see Wi-Fi is connected to a CCNA wireless Wi-Fi and has the IP address of 10.117.157.56. So information is right there if we need it. We have the ability to show or hide our Wi-Fi status in the menu bar. We have advanced connections. We'll talk about that in a moment. And then we have the network name. Now, I can change the network I'm associated with through this drop-down list. I just drop it down and it'll show me all the known networks I have used in the past. If no known networks are available, we're gonna be asked before joining a new network. That's our current connection, right? So right now, no networks will be joined automatically. So if I have a network in my environment that I've been to before and I've authenticated to before, my laptop or whatever my device is, when I go there, it's automatically going to join unless I click the ask to join new networks. If I click the ask to join new networks, if no known networks are available, you will be asked before joining a new network. So no networks are gonna be joined automatically. If no known networks are available, I will be asked to join new networks. Okay, this is selected by default. If this is not clicked, if a guest network is available, it will try and connect to that guest network automatically. 